Hey sports fans, Wade here. Hey, uh, I just wanted to start out this video. I'm going to make it in segments because Marco's coming over later, so I'm actually going to include him in some of this. But this is the new nose gear. This is the Mark Zeitlin designed new AEX for Jack Wilhelmson's nose gear, easy nose lift system. And uh, so I added a modification to add. Jack Williamson's backup battery, which is right down in there, back to the system for an emergency backup. Now, I'm showing you this now. I spent half the night last night and a good portion of the morning this morning uh, troubleshooting this thing. It all came down to one brown wire that goes to that micro switch that roller switch down there which is a the down travel limit and uh, this connector in here was intermittent so when I would tone it out it would actually show me a continuity but I had to re-wicker that um, actually um, I soldered some some solder in there to make the connection better because I didn't want the links off but uh, so that's why the covers are off I troubleshot this whole thing from the AEX box or the new AEM box and then made sure all the connections were good inside the uh, nose gear relay control unit box finally narrowed it down to this one connection right in there so that was the problem child so I thought I would show you this with the covers off there's a lot of extra wires it kind of looks like the original system right now but it will be a lot cleaner down here, I put it in a bag to protect it, is a, the 10 amp circuit breaker, and then that connects the main power wire here. I've got a conglomeration of uh, connections here. Kind of looks ugly, but had to wire it up. I had to use a lot of these guys here because they're so thin. So I wanted to make sure I had a good ground because the ground wires and the power wires are so long because they have to go up to the panel. Okay, then, this thing comes over to here, uh, and this is how it actually runs. The a couple power wires and a ground wire go through there, and then back over to here. Let me get this out of the way. And you have the throttle handle right there, and I'll show you next how that throttle handle fires this thing up and down. So it's working. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab the throttle handle. Down. Stop. And then back up. And then the limit switch is working. So, so far so good. Get you a, a good shot of inside the AEM box. One final shot inside the RCU box because I'm going to close these things up one shot down in here alright so I'm going to close these things up just wanted to show you this test and I'll show more later alright hey thanks out here hey guys it's Wade again I'm here with Marco from the easy shop I think this wire is wrong yes he's inspecting things and uh, well, let's just say it's not going well. I've got a lot of uh, new task items on my list. He's a, a hard one to uh, please as far as when it comes to wiring. So, But I, went, I needed some star power, so I figured I would get a shot of him. This box is all wrong, I have to say. Yes. So you got, you got to complain of whoever made that. He, uh, of course, he made that. And, uh, so we're going to try this out one more time. I'm going to give Marco the honors. Marco, you want to flip the switch on this? Wait a minute, you, you, you said we were going to cut this cable. No, 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 no. No, we're not. <laughs> Come on. All right, we're going uh, this way, so back will be up. And off it goes. Oh, we got to connect it. Oopsie. Yep. All right, we're back from our commercial break. Yep, we've connected it. And we're ready to go. All right, so All fire right. up. All right, here it goes. Nice. All right, we needed some remedial training on how switches work. Even though I set this switch up in the way he told me, 
in uh, airline specific uh, See, specifications. On this thing, That's you know? right. Oh, so uh, I went by his his uh, schematics, and here we go. All right. So down, down is up, up is down. Here we go. All right. Far there we go. All right. Don't go too far down. All right. Don't go too far down because of the wings back there. All right. We have some some issues here. All right. Up. Yep. Of course, up means up the nose, which is down the gear. It's just totally confusing. All right, so you'll notice the uh, the auto stops are working, so that's good. And here uh, again, that's the throttle handle. This is the actual switch right here that's controlling the gear up and down on the switch. And again, this is the infamous Marco. Showing off the wares. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you for allowing me. And uh, just so you guys, uh, we were talking about the Tri Paragon, so I went ahead and threw that in there so you can get a shot of that inside the avionics compartment. Also known as a Triceratops. Uh, also known as what? As a Triceratops. Yes. Hence the horns. Yes. So now you all see what I have to put up with. All right. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. And this concludes the nose gear, the new nose gear installation as per Mark Zeitlin. Zeitlin. Sorry, Mark. I don't know how to say your last name, but uh, this is a wrap. Thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.